I think most of us have experienced some form of anxiety or overwhelming situations in our lives. Whether it's the amount of work piling up, not feeling like there's enough time in the day, or just feeling the pressure of people around us who seem to be way more ahead in life. Being a minimalist has helped eliminate some anxiety from my life and help me identify the things that are worth putting time and energy into. Once I realized a lot of what was stressing me out was having too many things to do, too many things to take care of, the solution was simple. Cut back on what I'm saying yes to and the things I'm bringing into my life and giving my time to. As always, I only speak from my own experiences, hoping that maybe you can get some value out of them I try not to insist on what will work for somebody else because only you can decide what makes sense for you. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here, I talk about minimalism, building good habits, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Now, let's get started. Now, the first thing here is decision fatigue. Decision fatigue for me was just the culmination of small, unimportant decisions just building up throughout the day that ultimately didn't matter. Usually with what I was going to wear or what I was gonna work on a particular day. I decided to implement what I call automated decisions. It's my own personal way of having default answers to certain questions. I like to think of it as my own personal flowchart for answers. For example, if I'm debating on a purchase, I stop and ask myself, do I have room for this in my life? And is this going to replace something I own? I stopped making decisions and started making commitments. Don't get me wrong, it's not that having small decisions every day completely stressed me out, but eliminating these daily small choices definitely helped alleviate some stress. Now the next one here is having too many things to do. And I know about this one all too well. As a matter of fact, I started a channel about minimalism because I had too many things to work on and I quickly felt the pressure. I said yes to every video opportunity that came my way because I thought that hustle equaled success. But ultimately, it caused most of my work to suffer because nothing was getting 100% of my attention, and it showed. I became a minimalist with my time and decisions and decided to only take on one job at a time. This way, each opportunity got my full attention and it was fair on both sides. To this day, I'll never say yes to more than one job and I will not start filming or editing something even if I'm in the middle of working on a YouTube video. And the last one here is it creates a better financial position. And this kind of comes by proxy when leaning towards a minimalist lifestyle. And I wanted to put this here because money, at least for me, was a contributing factor to my stress. By raising the standards of quality of things I purchase, I just found that I was naturally buying less. When I was going through my first few declutters, I found a lot of things I was able to sell, also contributing to being in a better financial position. Now that I think about it, my PC was almost entirely paid for by things I sold on OfferUp. And these were things I really wasn't using. And it's not just selling things that put me in a better financial spot. Even some purchases did that. For example, buying a $6 water bottle has stopped me so many times from buying a water when I was out and about. It might not sound significant, but a $2 bottle of water every day or every other day adds up to a decent amount of money. Raising my standards of quality also just made less things appeal to me, thus making me spend less. And finally, this last point might be a stretch, but hear me out. In a way, having more time throughout your day through minimalism grants you the opportunity to possibly make money. If you think about it, when you're busy throughout school or work all day, you might be buying a lot of food spontaneously just because you're starving and don't want to go home and cook. 
and you don't care how much it costs because you're starving. When you first get home from work or school, the first thing you want to do is relax and the last thing you want to do is use your brain for critical thinking and I get that completely. Being a minimalist with my time and decisions has created the opportunity for me to prioritize making videos and that is putting me in a little bit of a better financial position. Anyways, I hope you guys really got some value out of this video. We all have things going on and I don't know your life situation, but I hope maybe you can take away one or two ideas from this video that can help you out. As always, I appreciate your time watching this video. If you did find it helpful, be sure to like it and consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.